you guys what's happening. So, I've had this ultrasonic cleaner for probably four or five years, and it's a Harbor Freight Chicago Electric. Um, everything works fine except for the heating element. The heating element will no longer work. And I think it's actually, it actually was my fault because somehow I had the heating element on and the thing wasn't powered on, or there was no water in there. But I think it might have overheated. Um, but I'm hoping I can either fix it or get a new heating element replacement for it. Um, board is actually on the bottom of this thing. Just attach the bottom. Oop, I pulled that element out. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that was me that got, probably me that did that, but the actual lead is out there. So that is the control board and fan. And this is the element here. Alright, so All right, let me take this outer cover off here on the back. So it just screws around the outside of it. What I'm looking for is something that looks like a heating element. It might be right here. Because this looks like this part. This looks like the motor, the ultrasonic motor, and this looks like it could be the heating element. Okay, this is actually what I wanted to figure out. So there, this is the heating element right here, and it's 110 volt. So if I buy a replacement heating element, I just want to make sure I get 110 element, 110 volt, not like a 12 volt. You know. All right. So let me determine. I guess I can do it here. Let me get it on. I'm gonna check the resistance of this thing. So if it's totally open. I know the heating element is bad. I don't know if you can see that now. All right. Yeah, no resistance. If this thing was actually good, I should be getting some sort of resistance shouldn't be totally open like that. Alright, so, but I also wanted to determine if we're getting 110 out output. So when I have the thing activated, I'm getting the 110 output that I should be getting. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can get that board going. Okay, so I had this thing partially plugged in. And when I want, even though it says 110 volt on the heating element, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm actually getting voltage out here. Out of that connector right there. Where the heating uh, heating element connects to, so that should be when the thing is actually powered on. She could be 100. She could be getting 110 right there. So let me get my multimeter and the power cable. All right, so I have my little probes connected here, and I go back to my multimeter, and I have an AC. I guess what I'm assuming it would be it would be AC. And I want to determine and guarantee or verify that it actually is the heating element. Is it not here? Or Get you in the frame. All right, and then I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, I have power in the front here. And hopefully. All right, so we're gonna turn the heat element on right now. Temperature control. See? So I know the actual control board is working. 
just the heater element is messed up. All right, so I need to get a new heater element, I guess. All right, so I ordered a uh, 110 volt, 100 watt heating element from uh, on, on eBay. And I'm also gonna get some of this uh, thermal glue. And I'll be back and probably, it's probably gonna take two or three weeks for it to come here, so it's coming from China, so. All right, cool.